Gentleman from Georgia is recognized for three minutes. Mr. Speaker, I thank the gentleman for yielding. And Mr. Speaker, I rise not in opposition to the bill. Uh, I think there's some good things in the bill. I was a former member of the Education and Workforce Committee. Uh, I know our ranking member, Mr. McKeon, is a supporter of the bill. I rise in strong opposition to this rule, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the, the gentle lady on the Rules Committee <coughs> of the majority side, uh, the gentle lady from Ohio, has mentioned a couple of things in her remarks, uh, talking about what we did, we Republicans did, when we controlled this body, <coughs> and indeed the Rules Committee, and how restrictive we may have been. But what I want to remind her is that I sat on that Rules Committee during that time, uh, and I can remember the, the comments that were made from, from the minority, the then Democratic minority, uh, of if they had an opportunity uh, to control this place, then, then rules would be open and fair and people would be treated fair so that each member would have an opportunity. Uh, they, they didn't say, uh, well, when we get the majority, we're going to stick it to you just like you've stuck it to us. So I think they should live by what they, they said they would do. And the other thing I want to point out to the gentlelady from Ohio, she talked about the bipartisanship of this bill and a 45-0 vote. Well, 45 members of this body is 10 percent. Ninety percent of us don't get an opportunity to speak on the bill and to offer uh, what I think are very good amendments. Now, 47 were submitted, 27 were made in order. But how many Republican amendments? Four out of 27. It wasn't one of mine, and I had a very good amendment, Mr. Speaker. This is the only opportunity I get to talk about it. It's bipartisan. Basically, Mr. Speaker, this amendment deals with FERPA, the Family Education Privacy Rights Act of 1974. The tragedy at Virginia Tech, uh, where we lost so many lives, was because, I think, because colleges and universities misinterpret that law. And my amendment would simply say, list a child, a student, on their tax return as a dependent, even though they might be over age 18, maybe they're a junior and age 20, but they are a dependent as, as verified by the tax return, then those parents should have access to academic records, disciplinary, disciplinary records, uh, drinking on campus, whatever. Uh, and, and many of us, I'm sure, uh, have had college students where because of FERPA, we never could find out how our, our youngsters were doing until they were in dire trouble of maybe flunking out of school or having a substance abuse problem. I commend Representative Tim Murphy for his work in regard to mental health issues along this same line. But this was a very good amendment, Mr. Speaker, and one that I would think that the Democrats would want to join Republicans and vice versa and have unanimous support of that. So I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Uh, not only for myself, but for the American people, my constituents, students, and parents all across this country. So, I, I, again, it's not the bill that I'm opposed to. I'm opposed to this restrictive rule, and I yield back.